A targeted shooting in a trendy section of Over the Rhine. Gunfire rocks the Gateway District just as people are heading to work. Kind of opens your eyes how, uh, how close it can be to you. We're just thinking, like, okay, we were right by here. Who knows? A stray bullet could have came by. Good evening. The shooting left one man dead and sparked concern throughout the neighborhood. And Tanya, one business even closed for the day. Yes, it did. And that's right, Carol. We want to give you some perspective on just how dangerous this was. Take a look at where this happened. It happened at Vine and Mercer Street. That's where the shooting occurred. That's very close to, for example, the Eagle, which is a great restaurant a lot of people love. Just a couple blocks away from the Senate in Bakersfield. I'm sorry that just blew up a little bit. But up here, right about here, was another place. It closed, that, that restaurant. Let's go live to Bryce Lonslinger. He talked to witnesses who saw the shooting firsthand. Bryce. Yeah, Tanya, as you know, we've been here at 14th and Vine all day long. This is one of the most bustling parts of the city, one of the most bustling parts of Over the Rhine. And it was just that crowded this morning when a man was killed right here where we are. Just another work day, and then that happens. For people headed to work this morning at Over the Rhine, it was anything but your average Wednesday. You know, today it's just sitting here digging this out, and you just hear pop, 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 and look at each other and go, Oh, okay. Thomas Jagger and Jim Nanningsberg have worked in Over the Rhine for the past five years. They've never seen anything like this. You know, they was doing chest compressions on him, and and I was thinking, oh man, that's didn't look good at all. Police were called to 14th and Vine at just before nine for reports of shots fired. It was really kind of unexpected. We're like, oh, oh my God, you know, like when they got here, they found 30-year-old Gregory Douglas shot on the sidewalk. He died a short time later. We're just working there, and all of a sudden, some dude gets shot. You know, kind of scary. You know, puts a little turn in your stomach. Police say the suspect jumped out of a green Impala before opening fire in front of a pet food store. And then all of a sudden, we just heard the pops. The shooting didn't stop these workers or many other people from coming to Over the Rhine, but it is on the minds of those who frequent the area. You know, we're just thinking, like, okay, we were right by here. Who knows? Stray bullet could have came by and got one of us just digging out concrete. Now, police say they do not believe that this shooting is related to a shooting that happened Friday night just a few blocks over at another popular bar named Neons. They say that they believe the victim in this case was targeted. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live from Over the Rhine. Thank you, Bryce. So this targeted attack is the third shooting in that area in just the last nine days. A deadly shooting, shooting that is, happened fr just Friday near 13th and Sycamore. Another person was shot on East McMicken Avenue last Monday. Tonight, Nine on Your Side is digging into the violence in OTR as development continues to pick up in that area. Our Tom McKee asked police what's being done to keep you safe.